book I'm particularly proud of, my first book, Carrie, um, be available at stores everywhere thanks to you. Now, this one, oh, what a story this was. Is this right side up? Yeah. This is... <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll take my so, feet off the table. Let's see. I guess we just kick in. <laughs> it caught me on a way how it hi my name's Stephen King um, Pete Schneider and Nancy Evans are here in the room with me and they came up to make this videotape that you're watching and they suggested that I tell you a little bit about this book that you're going to be selling either this year or early next year. Um, for some of you this is the second time around with the stand. You've dealt with it once before but when you dealt with it before it was under the old double day regime um, where a lot of books came out looking a little bit like concrete blocks. Um, this is the complete unrevised version of the stand. Um, I've added an introduction at the beginning that talks a little bit about how this particular version came to be and why it came to be and maybe I can recap that a little bit. Um, the stand when it was submitted to Doubleday originally in 1974 was considerably longer than the version that many of you sales representatives sold. And the decision to cut the book was not strictly um, an editorial decision so much as it was an accounting decision. Um, they had a price that they wanted to sell this book at that they considered to be absolutely top end. And uh, considering the way that book prices are nowadays, you'll probably laugh, but as far as they were concerned, $12.95 was it, that was the ceiling, that was the top. And you might compare that to the price of the book that you're going to be selling. Um, well, they were probably right. At that time, my books had begun to do very well in soft cover, but no hardcover market had been established. Anyway, the decision was taken out of my hands. It was there, and it was presented to me. Uh, this book has to be at least 400 pages shorter. Do you want to make these cuts, or do you want somebody here in-house to do it? And uh, my reaction to that was, nobody but me is going to mutilate my baby if my baby's got to be mutilated. So I went back and I cut the book as deeply as I could and then I resubmitted it and crossed my fingers. Um, the book eventually was published, although further cuts were made before that, that happened. The total cuts amounted to about 520 pages. Um, over the years since then, I would say that when I go places to talk, uh, if I go to a library to, you know, do a reading, something like that, in the question and answer period, the stand is the book that always comes up. Um, people want to know about the movie. They want to know if there is going to be a movie. And parenthetically, I think that probably there will be a movie, and that will happen fairly soon now, after all these years. Um, they sometimes ask me about what happened to the characters after the story was over as though I got these postcards from the Boulder Free Zone that would uh, explain what Franny's up to now, what Tom's up to now, and all these other things. Um, so although it's never been my favorite novel, I like it, but it's never been my favorite, I would say that it is the favorite of most of the people who read my books. And for that reason, I thought if Doubleday was agreeable, that it would be interesting to republish the book um, with the material that was cut added back in, where it seemed that that would add to the story. Now, there were parts that were left on the cutting room floor that belonged on the cutting room floor. They just, well, <clears throat> if you've ever seen a book uh, in manuscript before editing, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Some of that stuff was just not meant to live. So we cut some of it out, and it stayed cut out. 
but there were parts that were in the original manuscript that I remembered, that I liked, and that I thought that readers would like. Um, I think that if the book as it was originally published was scarred in any way, uh, if there was any one cut that showed, it was a long section toward the end of part two where a guy named the Trash Can Man meets up with this sort of neat psychotic who simply calls himself the kid. So that's been added. Um, I've re-added uh, the scene, kind of a horrible um, Anne Ratcliffe gothic scene where Fran Goldsmith tells her mother that she's pregnant and that she's going to have a baby. That's toward the front of the book. Um, there's a lovely scene where uh, um, Nick Andros and Tom Cullen, two of the characters, uh, take refuge in a storm cellar in the Midwest to avoid a, a twister. And there are a number of other scenes that have been added as well. Um, this is not a different book. It's the same old stand. Uh, that is to say, it's not like a river that's all of a sudden going to sweep the reader off to an entirely different destination. What it is, is the old stand with the old characters doing some new things um, that they weren't doing in the original draft. I don't think that I would have republished this book uh, if I didn't think that some of those things would be interesting to readers, and they wouldn't be things that readers might not want to experience for themselves. I'm not doing it for the money because, frankly, I don't need it. I don't need the money, and I'm certainly not doing it for the hassle because reintegrating this book has been a tremendous hassle. I worked from three sources. I had an original manuscript that was done mostly in a small rented room in Boulder, Colorado, where the book was written. Uh, that manuscript ran, I think, just shy of a thousand pages. Um, and I had a finished novel, which Doubleday had done, which was cut up into sheets and then pasted on paper and I made marks in green ink where the cuts were made and then I had the whole thing typed into a word processor and then I went over the three different sources and reintegrated it. Um, this process could have been done without the word processing technology that we have now, but it probably would have taken another three years. The changes are wound into the book, almost sewn into the book throughout, so that the result um, is, is not simply the old book with a few additions. The changes wind through from uh, page to page and segment to segment. I hope that uh, you enjoy selling it, and I hope that it does well, and I hope that the feedback that you get on it is good um, because it seems to me that at this point that's the real reward where somebody will come up and say I'm glad that you did this I did want to know more and you gave it to me so that's why I I did it that's why I committed this crime and uh, I hope that you're well and that uh, you can sell the book and that we can go ahead and do something together another time that's it from here.